Welcome to this short video on Convert to 3D Polyline Command, which is part of the new Kobe Toolkit for AutoCAD. On the screen here, I have two polylines. They are just 2D polylines. So if I list these, select them both, press Enter, and you'll see here it's a lightweight polyline. All the elevations are at zero. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert an escape here. I'm going to convert this first one into a 3D polyline. We're going to come up here to the Kobe Toolkit for AutoCAD. Come over here to the Geometry panel, and I'm going to select Convert to poly 3D Polyline. It asks me at the command line to select the object, so I'm going to select the polyline. Then I'm going to press Enter. At the command line, it asks me for mid-ordinate distance or the erase. So it wants to know if I say erase here. It'll ask me, do you want to erase the object? Um, when it creates the 3D polyline, or do you want to leave it? And I'll just say yes to erase the object. So I'm going to press enter. And now I'm just going to press enter to finish it off. If I list this one now, select the polyline, you'll now see it's a polyline. So now I can adjust these elevations. So if I select it on screen and go into the properties, now you can see here I've got an elevation. So I can set that one to 100, and then I can go on to the next vertice and so on. So let me show you the mid-ordinate distance, what that means. So here's the polyline here, and you can see I've got some curves. So I'm going to come up again to the Kobe Toolkit for AutoCAD. We're going to go over to the Geometry panel. We're going to go Convert to 3D Polyline. I'm going to select the Polyline. I'm going to press Enter. Now I'm going to go M for mid-ordinates. And it's asked me what the mid-ordinate distance is. So what that is, is I want to, every place that I reach the, the one unit mark, I want to have an extra vertice on here. So the smaller the number, the more accurate this is going to be and make it look rounded. So I'm going to just press enter here and I'm going to press enter again. And you'll now see here how it's kind of choppy. Well, I'm going to just undo this, press enter. Let's escape. Let's undo this, get it back to where it was. So here it is. Now I'm going to come back up here to the ribbon. We're going to go to convert to 3D polyline. I'm going to select the polyline once again. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to go M for mid ordinance. And this time I'm going to go 0.1. I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to press enter again. And now if I click on this, you'll see how many extra vertices is created. So the lower the number, the more accurate it's going to be, but a lot more extra vertices. This is now in 3D, so I can modify the vertices if I want to. This concludes this short video on Convert to 3D Polyline, which is part of the Kobe Toolkit for AutoCAD.